Okay. Get the hey, these ones who did these? Sophia, I hate you for these, by the way. I just want to make that clear, motherfucker. I hate you for those. Oh yeah, she's banned. <laughs> oh, keep her banned. Keep her Yeah, that one startled me. Oh, shit. This is good Photoshop, Berg. It's actually very accurate, to be honest. Okay. This is going back to the point to where you guys are just putting my face on random shit. It has no correlation with anything. What the fuck? What picture did you use for me? Why do they... It doesn't even look like me. I feel like you, you picked a picture that wasn't me, bro. Blando, aka sexy motherfucker, shoe. And then what is, the, why do I look like this? Like, what is the, like, what is this, bro? Is this like fucking my head on Professor Snape? Like, what is this? It doesn't even look like me, dude. What the fuck is this? Ew, bro, get this out of here. This is so weird looking. Is this me as Ed Sheeran? <laughs> Dude, oh. What is this, Mary Poppins? This is terrifying. I really hope I don't look like this. I really hope I don't have to look like that, bro. Because that's kind of scary. I, at this point, I feel like I would shave my face, though. Like, that, dude, I, like, what am I, Santa Claus? What the fuck? Oh, look at J-Mac coming in with the drawing. Coming in with the creative... Not not a Photoshop picture on t on uh, on my face on the Napoleon Dynamite. It, it's an actual fucking drawing, which is a W. I've never... Sorry about the forehead drawing walls. Here's a picture to redeem myself. Also, remember everyone has their own insecurities, and that's okay. Sorry about the forehead drawing. Are you talking about my my forehead? I'm not insecure about my forehead. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This is sick, though. This is actually really cool. Let me get a W in the chat for this one. Wolves and Blano playing hide and seek. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? Dope. This is dope, Sky. Dude, what is this? What? Happy Thursday, Wolves. Made this small animation for you? Bro, what is this? Yo, this is sick. <laughs> That's funny. That looks exactly like him. It's crazy. Hello, everyone. This, this is your daily, daily dose of internet. internet. This person got a little too close to a whale and almost got slammed. Nah, bro. Why? Oh, this is a fucking... Oh, scary as shit. If you guys want to know my fear, it's this. This is my fear. I don't know why. I Just the deep... Unknown sea is the is the scariest thing to me. The deep unknown darkness of whatever the fuck could be down there. And then this doesn't help. This big thing. Oh. Damn. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What? <laughs> That's fucking so weird. Oh shit, you got corona. Oh man, no, I don't. No, Come man. on, man. You do got corona. <laughs> don't play with him like that. One of my subscribers has a trebuchet in their backyard and wanted to share it with all. Has a what? Has a what? has a trebuchet in their backyard and wanted to share it with all of you. Three, two, one. Okay, you you might start a forest fire like that, man. So let's see what kids in high school are wearing nowadays, man. Let's check this shit out. Okay, we got some W, W. I like the blazers. Blazers good. 
This guy, not sure. Oh, no. He's the guy that runs through the fucking hallways with his lunchbox. Oh. Not, not a whole lot going on, to be fair. Okay. These guys love Adidas. They love... This guy's like eight feet tall. Loves Adidas. He's the, he's the tall kid in school. This kid loves TikTok. You can tell. See his haircut? That's a haircut. That's a TikTok haircut. And then... Oh, dude. Ed Sheeran goes to school. Ed, dude, Ed! I found the love. Ed Sheeran goes to their school, bro. Give me a kiss. Thank you, baby. That's pretty cute. Oh. <laughs> my mom. What? what? <laughs> oh, dude, I thought his face was like that, actually. This professional stuntman went flying through a bus. What the fuck, bro? Imagine trying to shit and you get smoke up your ass. One of my subscribers recorded this video of the roof of a gas station moving in the wind. Okay, great. Great. Okay, awesome. Oh, dude, God, this is so scary. How do people do this? That thing can fucking eat you, man. Eat you alive. Let me get a W in the chat for Slab Mountain, baby. We love this show. Hi, everybody. I'm Cream Pie Oakland, and welcome. Holy, this man has not gotten a haircut yet. He has not changed up the look. Cream Pie Oakland. Uh, but we're headed out to Slab Mountain. Slap Mountain. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This looks evil. Why does it look so evil, though? What happened? Tonight, baby, you got to go one on one with a six foot six, 440 pound oh. hillbilly from back in the woods, cornbread. He says you ain't going to have two slap. <laughs> cornbread. Cornbread, who? Has he had a slap fight? I don't think so. Oh Come my slap. God, he's got no teeth. Holy, oh my God. Jesus, he's been through it. Bit into too many apples with his front teeth. Knock him slap out, man. It ain't gonna take me no 20 rounds. Cause I don't, uh, maybe two rounds, he'll be on the ground and out, lights out. Oh, okay. Here we are. This will be the man in charge of the action during season two. It's Cowboy Troy. <laughs> Troy will be replacing season one official Yo. Brad. Who is forced to return? Yo, look at Cowboy Troy. Holy fuck. He's ready to go, man. He's got the whole ref fit. I think he's going to do his job pretty well, in my opinion. Look at him. He's ready to go. He woke up ready to go. He had his frosted mini wheats, blueberries. He had a smoothie. The Broham family, one of the most dishonest, troublemaking families on the mountain. Ooh. Cornbread Broham and his sons have been terrorizing Slap Mountain residents for years. And oh, until shit. today, no one has dared to stand up to them. Dude, look at the guy in the back just getting his shit rocked. <laughs> And here he comes now, stepping into the storage lockers and headed to the ring. It's Damn. Cornbread. Cornbread and his family have lived on the mountain for his entire That's a big boy. That's a big, big man. This guy cheats at cards. He bullies children. He farts in church. This is the type of dude that will crop dust you and ask you if it was you. He also has a couple of genetic Yo. gifts, just like a lot of the competitors on Slap Mountain, one of which is a bone deficiency that causes him to have a receding chin. No way he's talking about the chin. Bone deficiency that causes a receding chin. Oh my God. One of the most recognizable characters of Slap Mountain, oh. it's Big James Mayhem. James Mayhem! And take a look at the face of Big James. You Dude, they literally look exactly the same. 
<laughs> Look at him, dude. It's like the default skin for Slap Mountain Fighters. Big James and Cornbread have had a lot of conflict in the past, mostly due to the fact that they both date the same on-again, off-again girlfriend. Her name is Jandice, and it oh. has been decided that the winner of tonight's fight will go home with Jandice for a night of unbridled passion. Oh! Yo, the winner of this gets Jandice! I need to see what Jandice looks like. Nothing better than getting my hands on a fat hip, baby. <laughs> All right, real talk, real talk, real talk. Chat, are we talk? Are, do we like Jandis or do we like Tammy? <laughs> Oh, uh oh, Jandis or Tammy? Oh, does she have any teeth? I literally think she doesn't have teeth in the bottom or top jaw. Dude, look at the rest. Hello, fight fans, and welcome to Slap Mountain Season 2. Here we go. My name is JT Tilly, and I couldn't be more excited. JT Tilly, legend. Legend, by the way, this guy. Let's get a W in the chat for JT. Now that we've got that under control, here's round one. Ooh, okay, wobbled him. Okay, not a bad him. slap from Cornbread. Wobbled him already. You're going to have to bring just a little bit more than that to, to knock Big James out. To, uh, Big James is going to go ahead and haul off. Oh my oh. gosh, Big James with a huge shot. What you'll notice here is the dynamic of Big James stepping to the left. You know it's a good slap when the hat goes off. Like Bobby Shmurda. Fuck with us. Now I actually just watched uh, Cornbread just spit out. It looked like a tooth. Uh, I think no that he just shot. lost a tooth in round one. Uh, definitely not going to be a big issue for Jandis. Uh, but it's, it's probably an issue for Cornbread. <laughs> And here we go with the wind up for round two. Okay, not a bad slap again. Round two from Cornbread. I don't know about that one. Oh, shit. That was a little cupcake buttercup. What was that shit? My man, you, you're 6'6", 440. You should have the force of a fucking F-250. That's how it feels to drive a Ford F-250. Okay, Big James Mayhem is going to return fire here in round two. Oh, Ooh. my God. Big James with a huge shot. And oh, Cornbread turned man. his head at the wrong time, and the shot made contact right behind the ear. Damn. And that is not good. Hey, maybe don't turn next time. I I'm gonna say right now, this guy wants Jandis way more than 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 this guy right now. Okay. And you know what? He's got no teeth. She's got no teeth. Those makeout sessions are just gum on gum. Definitely disoriented. <laughs> oh my god. Big James Mayhem is inexplicably staring at his tits. <laughs> and Corbett. <laughs> no, you didn't just call him out like that. Hold on, look. <laughs> look at him, he's staring at him. <laughs> Big James Mayhem is inexplicably staring at his tits. <laughs> and Cornbread seems to be confused. <laughs> about where he is he's asking uh my mom just said gum and gummer <laughs> oh my god <laughs> nah nah what okay they're gonna let cornbread step back into the contest oh he's back and here he goes he's gonna haul off with round three. Oh my goodness not a not a bad shot you can see uh, big james does the stanky leg just a little bit here but there's definitely a problem with cornbread broham look at the ref <laughs> i can't take this motherfucker seriously right here dude he i mean this is a big upgrade man he went from t-ball to, to the biggest slap fight platform in the world cornbread is withdrawing from the fight no! Okay, yes, Cream Pie's fingering the bell, and it looks like this fight is over, ladies and oh gentlemen. Oh my god! Your winner, Big James Mayhem.
Congratulations goes to Big James Mayhem, uh, but right now my main concern is Cornbread. It looks to me that Cornbread has taken a shot, a, a hard shot, and he is definitely contused, and we need medical attention immediately. Hey, y'all, let me get an L in the chat for this guy. You're 6'6", 440 pounds, and you couldn't take two slaps to the face. Oh my god. This guy sucks. Whipped cream and cherry on top of her. Oh God, geez. on top of her meth. Uh, I'm worried about. I'm worried about corn, cornbread. It, it looks to me that cornbread. Is he crying? No. Don't. Oh my goodness! We need to get this man. Let's get this man to the hospital immediately. <laughs> this is a person who needs a CAT scan and some medical attention. Uh, we really appreciate you, Cornbread, uh, but let's get some medical attention. I have no idea why there's no medical team here at Slap Mountain, and I also have no idea why I am the only one that seems to care that this man is hurt. <laughs> my gosh! Damn. There's nothing better than getting my hands on a fat hip, baby. <laughs> Yo, I need the next episode. Hey, JT, I need it right now. <laughs>